Okay, so this is what your Raspberry Pi will be able to do after uh, you do this tutorial. I'm currently running this on a Raspberry Pi 1, but I'll do the tutorial on a Raspberry Pi 3 because I'm guessing most of you will use a Raspberry Pi 3. So it boots up and after it boots up it will start playing in loop all the videos from uh, a uh, file according to a schedule that you can set up in a web page. The Raspberry Pi 3 will be much faster. Okay, so first of all, uh, I have downloaded the last version of uh, Raspbian and uh, I've inserted the memory card in my laptop and I'm going to write the image to the SD card. What? Yes. And it will write it. This is the first step. Okay, so it's 90%. I've skipped through the part where you have to wait. Okay. It's almost ready. Okay. Okay, so powering up the Raspberry Pi. This is what you'll first see. So, this is what you'll see when first powering it up after the last step. It will resize the partition. Okay, so now we're on the desktop. The first thing you should do is if you plan on using a wireless network, you should connect to it uh, now because it's easier to connect now than uh, doing it through the command line interface or uh, SSH later. Okay, so now you go to Preferences, Raspberry Pi configuration, where you set it up to boot to, to command line interface. You disable under scan so you don't have these black bars around. I don't think you can see them, but there are black bars around the screen. You should change the password right here. Okay. The password has been changed successfully. Interfaces enable SSH. Performance look and uh, set your time zone. I'm gonna send set it right here. The clock is very important. You shouldn't skip this uh, this step. And that's about it. Now it will boot into the command line interface. If you don't know your uh, Raspberry Pi's IP address, you can uh, just type in if config and press enter and you will see my Raspberry Pi's IP address is 192.168.77.20. This is important for the next step. After you know your uh, IP address, you can open up a uh, SSH client such as and connect it like this, okay, with username pi and the password you just set. If you didn't set any password, the password is uh, raspberry. Okay, so here you have to enter the following command. Git clone. Now we shall enter the directory. Okay. After that, I will make the install.sh executable with this command. Okay, if you don't run it as a as the root user, it will uh, not install. Okay, so now it asks me if I want to install my shell. Okay. Okay, so now it asks me if uh, I want to install Apache and PHP. Okay, so now it asks 
if uh, you want to install Resilio. If you want to manually put the, the, the video files or MP3 files in, uh, to those folders and you don't need to change them uh, very often, uh, you can manually do that and keep installing Resilio. But uh, the, the, program, the project was, uh, was intended to be used with Resilio. After it installs Resilio, it will uh, restart. Okay, so this message was given because the Raspberry Pi has restarted and uh, it has disconnected me from, uh, from the SSH. Okay, so after you installed uh, the program on the Raspberry Pi, everything is kind of ready to go. You can uh, download Resilio Sync. I will download it right now. Okay, free download for home. Okay. And I will install it. Open it after installation. Okay, start okay. Next. Yes. get started okay I don't want to subscribe now what you can do is uh, I will enter the videos folder I will make a new folder called media it must be called media and I will cut this I will in the media folder I will create a folder called one another one called 2 and another folder called 3 ok now in the first folder I will put my videos I don't have more videos to show how this works but you'll get the point and I can access uh, the, re the Resilio on the Raspberry Pi by entering uh, HTTP dot local two dots four eight okay I will pick a username for my Resilio installation on the Raspberry Pi and I will click continue I will agree I will click continue Will ask, it asks me for the username and password that I previously entered. I will say this is my first. You can modify the name, I'll just leave Pi. And I will create the identity. In, Resilio, in my installation of Resilio on the computer, I will uh, add a standard folder from uh, the videos, the media folder that I just created. I will add it, okay, and I will want to read and write. I will copy the key, and the key has been copied to to the memory. I can copy it later on by clicking on the three dots and uh, clicking copy read and write key. Now, on the Raspberry Pi Resilio, I will enter a link and. I will click paste or let me right click paste ok next and I will select the media the media folder that uh, the setup created for me automatically open is not empty ok and now it will sync now the the computer is syncing the folders that I have over here in 1, 2 and 3 and I have nothing in 2 and 3 it's uh, syncing them with, uh, with the Raspberry Pi if I modify any of them I don't even have to be on the local network to modify the to modify the files okay now now 
now I can enter HTTP Raspberry Pi dot local and it will ask me for a username and password. This is the username and the password. O R A R. You can change it in the login.php file. Okay, it's uh, taking uh, longer to load the web page because it's creating the database and uh, um, it's transferring the video files to it. Okay, so you can see here the music already started to play because it finished syncing probably one file. Okay, uh, I can set the schedule for from one to let me just mute that. Okay, I can set the schedule from uh, for for folder one from. 0 to 24 that means that it will play the contents of folder 1 continuously it will loop it continuously if i set it from 8 o'clock from 8 o'clock in the morning to like 2 p.m and apply changes it will only play the contents of folder 1 from 8 to 2 o'clock it's the same for um, for folder 2 and folder 3 if I want them to play alphabetically, I I uh, do not enable random, and if I enable random, it will play them randomly. And after that, I will apply settings. Okay. Uh, okay, so I can restart the Pi. It takes uh, no longer than a minute to restart. If you have a um, USB stick and uh, you want to use it to to change, you don't want to use Resilio and you want to use a USB stick to to play the video files, you can create the file structure that I created here. So on a empty USB stick, you can create the media folder, create folders you want to free, put whatever you want in them. Uh, you can put the USB stick in the Raspberry Pi and uh, restart it. After the restart, the USB stick will be mounted in the directory of, uh, of Resilio, even if you don't have it installed and uh, it will automatically play the files from your USB stick. It doesn't support uh, USB sticks that are formatted in NTFS format. Okay, so it's just restarted. And after the restart, it will start playing randomly one of the four songs. And this is it. I hope you enjoyed. My little tutorial. I was waiting for it to start. It doesn't start because I modified the from and to, and it's uh, it's 6 a.m. Let me modify it to uh, if it's 6 a.m. Uh, 8. Let me see. I'll modify it to 8 to 8 p.m. and uh, apply settings, and it will start playing. It started playing. Okay.